to the country that there is activity, there is evidence of delivery. There are there things in the short term that can actually be done or you just have to rely on a long-term strategy. If you had asked me this question three years ago, and I was one of the first people to argue that Zimbabwe must adopt the South Africa RAND and join the RAND monetary area for a seven-year period, uh, seven year period or ten-year period. Why? Because South Africa accounts for Zimbabwe's uh, uh, exports in terms of 80% of all trade is with, with South Africa. So clearly you want a currency that is linked to your largest trading partner. But uh, I don't think I want to argue that now it, it, things have moved on. I did actually quite a lot of scientific research on that, on that issue. Uh, things have moved on now. I think we're at a new juncture. So what I would argue now is that we, we have to remove the, bo the, the bond notes uh, currency, which is becoming a surrogate a Zimbabwe dollar, but with the, without the macroeconomic credibility, you no know, monetary policy credibility to, to, to support it. So that should be removed because it is bad money. And we know that in economics, bad money drives out good money. It's not surprising that even the US dollars are now in short supply because people are not banking those, they're keeping them under, under the mattress, to use a very simple phrase. So I would say the immediate course of action is to remove the bond notes, let this, the US dollar again be the core currency of focus but over time we have to bring back the Zimbabwe uh, domestic currency that's what will deal with liquidity uh, uh, issues in a, in, a, in a very big way it is very successful yeah there's also 